hi everyone so this is my second video today um, this is going to be my July favourites um, because I'm kind of stuck in the house in horrible weather at the moment um, as you probably heard in my last video so I'll run through what I'm really loving for well it was July really um, so I'll show you what I've been reaching for my first thing is Luli Lolo concealer I've spoken about this one before um, and I just really like the consistency. It's a mineral makeup, so it's powder, but it doesn't go on cakey. It's really nice, easy to blend and smooth out. And I've been using that with the Tutu. No, I don't know the number. It's the pencil brush from Mac. Um, and it might seem an odd choice, but because it's quite compact, the brush you can really kind of get quite a bit of concealer on and work it in to a specific area so that's why I really like that and also with the 217 brush for just around the eyes any discoloration around there as well that's really nice to kind of buff into the skin for that one and then with that I've also been wearing the MAC Mineralize Skin and Finish Natural in Medium which is just perfect if you don't want to wear foundation because it's just so light and nice for hot weather apart from there's no hot weather here at the moment maybe soon um, so yeah those two then also of course my NARS Laguna and Orgasm um, which I love and I'm loving using it with the Smashbox number 19 brush because it's so huge and you just literally just tap it on at the top and then brush it on and it blends it out for you um, because it's kind of quite tapered around there so it doesn't really call for much work so I like using those two together um, my favourite nail polish of the moment is OPI Melon of Troy which is, it's not really a peach um, or an orange, it's kind of a combination of both really and it's got a, got a metallic finish to it um, but it's easy enough for work even though it's still quite a bright colour as well um, so that's why I really like that one because it's quite versatile also loving the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara which I've talked about before and it's quite odd and I didn't think I would like this so much because the brush, well it's not really a brush it's um, it's kind of a, a stick with combs coming out of it. I don't know if you can see that very well. Um, so as you're putting the mascara on it's also combing your eyelashes at the same time to stop them sticking together. And it lengthens and it doesn't flake and it's just a really good consistency. So that's that one. Also Illuminator, um, Skin Illuminator by number 7 in Peach. I've talked about this one before. Really great for highlighting. Quite a natural highlighter, not really shimmery or anything um, and it just works really well just under a powder or on top of foundation so it's a great everyday colour, the peach one and then my favourite favourite perfume by MAC, Naked Honey love this, really summery um, I'm sure you've heard it said before but it really smells of honeysuckle and it's just such a lovely light summer fragrance and I, I know that my local Mac store has run out of this now so I'm hoping I can still get hold of it somewhere, either another Mac store online but because um, I love it so anyway that's that one um, an eyeshadow that I really love at the moment is the Bare Minerals Kudos and I like this because, I'll show you the colour it's a great colour to use which um, you don't really have to wear anything else with. It's sort of a goldy, fawny colour. It was quite shimmery there. Um, and it's great just to put on the eyelid and then blend up because by the time you've kind of blended it up, it's made it quite sort of faded and it works great as a highlighter as well um, by doing that when it's faded out upwards. Um, so you start along the actual lid itself and then blend it up um, only lightly because there's a little bit of shimmer in there so um, it works 
well all over the eye well not fully all over the eye don't get me wrong but just blend it up <laughs> so it's great for lazy days that one um, and then also I really love this bio oil which I've only been using for a few weeks now um, it's supposed to be great for scars, stretch marks, uneven skin tone, aging skin and dehydrated skin um, <clears throat> be wearing this underneath a moisturiser and it's really great for giving extra moisture in the skin I haven't had a chance really to see whether it's able to even out uneven skin tone yet so um, because it does say that you need to use it for a minimum of three months to do that so um, I need to use it for a bit longer really to be able to tell for that but otherwise it's really good for the moisture side of things anyway and then also I've been loving these Virgin V eyeshadows. Um, I'll show you those. So I'll show you the box first. That's the front of it, and then in the back it just tells you what colours you've got. You've got a highlight, a shade, a contour, and a defined colour. And inside you get a little sponge applicator and a brush applicator on the other side. I'll just take that out. And this is the highlighter just here. As you can see, I've used the top two quite a lot. They've gone down quite a bit. And I'd say that's a colour, sort of a um, a light yellowy goldy. Not yellow really. Just a warm, warmer colour highlighter. And then this colour here, I've been using quite a lot on my eyelids. Um, it's one that I use with this set, and also if I'm using other colours as well. I've used, actually used it today over the lid itself. Um, I'll show you what colour it comes out. I don't know if you can really tell. Because it's kind of, again I'd say like a fawny colour, but it's got a silver tone to it. And it looks really silver there, but it's not. It's, um, I'd say it's got a silver sheen to it, but it's more fawn. Um, it's just a really lovely kind of neutrally colour for the eyelids and then there's a gold colour down here which I don't use too much but that's supposed to be used in your crease but um, I, don't, I don't think it's really kind of gold gold it's more of a brownie gold and then you've got a dark brown here which I've been using quite a lot of but um, because the colour's quite intense not much of that's actually gone um, so this is just a really great everyday look and you can just reach for this and not anything else really, eyeshadow wise. Um, so it's really good for that. Um, I can't remember how much it is actually. I'll try and find out and put it in the sidebar for you because um, the eyeshadows are really nice, they're really smooth and um, they go on really well. So I'll put the price to that one. Um, also, the other couple that I've got is Moody Blues, which again comes in the same format. I'll just hold on to the brush. And you've got like a highlighter colour there, which I'd say has got a bluey shimmer to it as well. I've used that just in the corners here today. And then the crease colour. And then this sort of matte. Yeah, it's a matte blue, I'd say. It's got no shimmer to that one. And then the Define, which is a darker blue. You can't really see it's dark blue there. But it's got some shimmer to it. And I've used that along my crease today and that one on the outer edge, um, along with the colour from the, the browns. So it's kind of more of a um, more muted blue, I guess, rather than using all of the blue set, um, which can be more of an intense colour that's the blue and then the green which I love as well and again you've got the highlight the eyelid, eyelid colour a matte crease and a define as well for the outer corner so they're really good because they're all you kind of need if you want to go for a real green look um, so yeah I'll put the details of those in the sidebar um, and that's it anyway because I'm running out of time so um, I hope you're all well um, and I'll speak to you again soon. Bye.